guys, Kyler here with KC Outdoors. I uh, just got back from fishing a pond, uh, the same pond that I was at the previous video. Haven't been able to get out on the old bass tracker in a little while. Hopefully this week we're going to be back out on the lake, but until then, just bear with me with the pond videos. Uh, today's turning out a lot better than the last video I posted. I caught a lot of fish in, but they were all little tiny ones. <clears throat> Most of the fish today being little tiny ones, but they're still fish. But two of those fish that I caught today that you're going to see in just a minute were actually, I don't know, they weren't that big either, but they were bigger than yearlings or fry, I guess is what you would call them. Anyways, to, to get into what I caught them on today, uh, the, both of those, uh, both of the rods I had with me were ducket ghosts, uh, one in a casting one in a spinning setup, one in a casting, one in a spinning. Uh, this is a seven foot medium action ducket ghost with a loose speed spin. I was just throwing that weightless Cinco that I had on last video. And then I brought this one, which is also one of the, the same rod I had with me last video because I was planning on trying to catch one on a frog. That didn't work out this time either. I got them to hit it, but they didn't commit just like last time. But um, it's just a seven foot ducket ghost. It's a heavy action. I've got 40 pound braid on it. And I switched over. And I switched over to a chatterbait. This is more of a natural color. It's just kind of a crawl pattern, little green pumpkin and orange. And it's got that gold blade on it. Uh, Z Man makes these, or this brand in particular. And. Um, I caught like two on that one. The rest of the fish came off of the Cinco. But anyways, thanks for watching. This is Kyler with KC Outdoors. We will see you guys next time.